Hi everyone. Over the past week we've had a pretty significant heatwave here in Europe and that prompted me to finally buy one of these units, a portable air conditioner. Now these units come with a hose, this thing right here, that you're supposed to put out of the window in order to let this unit blow hot air out of the house. But in doing so, I've now opened the window to let that happen, but now a lot of warm air can come back into the house via the opening. So you need to seal that opening up somehow. And for that, this air conditioner came with this sliding thing, which you can use to seal the hole if you have a sliding window. But I have a tilting window, and specifically it tilts outward. Now you can buy products for tilting windows as well, but those are a little bit expensive and they also work much easier if the window tilts inwards rather than outwards. So in today's video I'd like to show you what I came up with to seal that hole back up. Here I have a wooden board cut to the length and the width that match the window that I have downstairs. Over here we have a hole that I simply cut out with a jigsaw and that allows the hose of the air conditioner to come through. And this little plastic bit here came with the air conditioner itself. And the final feature of this board are the two holes here near the center, which I'm going to use to insert latches into the board. These latches consist of two parts, the orange and the red. And the first thing I'll do is put the orange part through the hole and then I'll line that up and push the red bit over it. And then I can insert a screw into the hole on the side and then tighten that down. And then the two parts of the latch essentially straddle the wooden board to ensure that they cannot come off. So if I tighten this down, I now have a latch like this. And it's this bit here that's going to be grabbing the opposite side of the window frame. So this is going to be on the outside. Um, and the board itself will be pushing against the inside. So between this edge of the wooden board and this side of the latch, it'll straddle the window frame, keeping itself in place. And the idea here is that I have something that I can very easily and quickly put in place and remove because I'll only need this portable air conditioner maybe a couple of weeks in the year. Um, temperatures over here are usually perfectly fine, um, at least on the hot side. They tend to be too cold rather than too hot for most of the year. Um, so I'll only need this board and the air conditioner during heat waves in the height of summer. Outside of that, I'm planning to put the air conditioner along with this board somewhere in storage up in the attic. Let's suppose now we have a heat wave coming. What do I do? I'm gonna open up the window and push it open all the way. I'm gonna pick up my board and I'm going to push it up against the window frame. And then to lock it in place, I rotate the two latches 90 degrees. And now the latches will have gripped on the other side of the window frame to hold the board in place. The final thing is to take up your hose push that into the opening and you can turn on your AC and everything should start cooling down fairly quickly. One thing I do want to point out is that in my particular case I sized the boards to fit inside of the rails that are part of my sliding mosquito screen. So if I take this back down you can see that my mosquito screen can slide along these rails to keep the mosquitoes out with a normal open window. So if you don't have these rails for the mosquito screen on your window, you can of course make the board a fair bunch wider if you wish. Uh, that could also give you the extra bit of leeway that you need to ensure that you can cut this board out using a regular handsaw or a jigsaw. Though you can also do it in this particular case because you have a couple of millimeters worth of play on either side. So if you're diligent with the cuts, you can make that work. Now, I did build this thing out of a piece of wood, and there are a couple of reasons for that. First, I cut this piece out of a piece of wood that I already had lying around, a phrase that you may have heard on YouTube before. The other option that you have for material is a piece of transparent plastic, and this can either be polystyrol, uh, acrylic, or polycarbonate. Now, the reason I didn't do that is because, well, I already had this piece of wood, but also, 
This window is over a meter tall, so if you go to the hardware store and you buy a piece of plastic, that becomes rather expensive. Um, you also have to pick up a piece that is fairly thick, because this 3 millimeter thick piece of plastic actually bends quite easily. So I would estimate that for a window like this, you would need at minimum 5 millimeters thickness, and again, a plate large enough to cover this window, but also thick enough to hold, would actually be fairly expensive. Now, another option that you have is to go to online stores and order a pre-cut piece of plastic, uh, cut to the measurements of your window, and that's actually probably fairly convenient for a lot of you. But do keep in mind in that case that you still need to cut out the hole with a jigsaw to make the hose come through. Um, the advantage, of course, to using a transparent piece of plastic is that you still have the light transmission and the ability to look out. Uh, the advantage, of course, to having a piece of wood, especially if it's coated white like this thing, is that you also keep uh, the heat radiation of the sun out, which gives your AC a little bit more of a fighting chance to keep your room cold. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this portable air conditioner and the window solution that I came up with. Um, after turning it on, it does cool the room down by a few degrees within one or two hours. But after that, the cooling effect uh, starts to slow down rather noticeably. And I think the reason for that is because the walls in this particular house, and most houses in this particular corner of northwestern Europe, are made of solid brick. So the outer walls are two layers of brick, and all the interior walls are one layer of brick. And I've been using this infrared thermometer to check out the temperature of the walls, and a lot of the walls are in fact about 30, 31 degrees Celsius at the peak of the heat wave. So once the sun goes down and things start to cool down a little bit outside, that still doesn't help you on the inside, because then all of the heat suddenly starts coming out of the walls. So it's 30 degrees Celsius 24-7, even during the night. That makes it pretty difficult to get any work done. Uh, physical is difficult because it's so hot, and mental is also difficult because it's quite annoying to sleep when it's that hot. So having the portable air conditioner to cool the room down by a few degrees and to lower the humidity by about 10-15% is pretty significant. Um, and the reason it can't really go much further than that is because of all the heat in the walls that was still present when I started using this unit. Nevertheless, the, the few degrees and the 10-15% of humidity is a huge difference in comfort and being able to sleep. So I highly recommend it for a heat wave like this. These portable air conditioners are notoriously inefficient. Technology Connections made a great video about this. But they are also very convenient, especially in this case because it's such a mobile setup. Um, after summer is over, you can tear it down and store it in your attic. Um, if you do need air conditioning for longer periods of time in the year, um, it's really worthwhile to start looking into a window unit or a split system. Um, because your efficiency is usually almost double, um, which halves your electric bill in that respect. Uh, so it's really worthwhile checking that out. In this particular case, um, this window is too narrow to fit a window unit, unfortunately. Um, and even if it did, it is kind of tricky to get a system in place here, which allows you to suspend a 40 kilogram unit into the air on the outside. Um, so I'm pretty happy again with the uh, mobile air conditioning unit that I've got and once the end of August, middle of September-ish rolls around, I plan on putting the mobile air conditioning along with the plate that I've got up into the attic and uh, we'll probably won't be seeing that again until next year. The other thing that I'd like to do to this particular unit is it is a single hose unit and as Technology Connections explained, um, having a double hose unit is more efficient. Um, but unfortunately, I just wasn't able to find a double hose unit for sale here in the Netherlands. So I am planning on converting this thing to a double hose unit one day. Uh, but I still owe you guys that video on getting that tank to move and the racks and the ring gears. So I don't know if and when I'll be doing that. With that, I want to thank you once again for watching and have a great night.